Hallelujah. Leadership. What is leadership? Uh, today we write about. Leadership is the capacity. Leadership is the capacity to influence others through inspiration. Leadership. They have a part of the Make sure you make these ones. It is very important for your life. It is the capacity to influence others through inspiration, motivated by passion, motivated by passion, generated by vision, produced by conviction, and ignited by purpose. Do we go that one? Leadership is the capacity to influence others through inspiration, motivated by passion, generated by a vision, produced by a, con a conviction, ignited by the purpose. Huh? Produced by a conviction, ignited by purpose. Our true leadership requires the responsibility of taking followers into the exciting unknown and creating a new reality for them. Look at what I'm saying. True leadership fundamentally requires the responsibility to take Followers into the exciting, unknown, and creating a new reality for them. Right, I will explain it. That leadership potential leadership potential within you is waiting to be discovered. Because every person is a leader. You are born to lead. You are born to become a leader. You are born to lead. Nobody here is a follower. God has created us with the potential of leadership. Psalms chapter 72, verse 78. Psalms 72, verse 78. Somebody will read it for us. Uh, what are you saying? Like a and even shepherd, shepherd them with intelligent heart, with skillful heart, and then they will be able to do this year. So, and David shepherd, shepherd them with intelligent heart. And David shepherded you or the Ellen or the Phoebe uh -huh. with skillful hands. With, with what? Skillful hands, he left them. Skillful hands, hands, he left them. Yeah. And David shepherded them with integrity of, of heart. And David shepherded them with integrity of heart. One uh, perspective of leadership is the integrity of the heart. You should have 
is your heart integrity. By the way, you should be a man of integrity. Everything that should have an integrity. Uh -huh. And you need to have skills. That is why we are trained to become leaders. We are trained to become leaders uh, so that we can get skills. Hallelujah. Skills is the product of what you learn. Education is what you remember after forgetting everything that you have learned. <laughs> Hallelujah. Skills is the ability to practice what you are taught in education. Hallelujah. Leadership is the capacity to influence others through inspiration, motivation, and uh, you should have the level of skills. You should have good skills. Every leader should be skillful. A leader should be skillful. Hallelujah. Are we together? Most of us are not leaders today because in our hearts we don't believe that we are leaders. Some leaders who are actually what we our 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 target watch because they know they are followers. The key to the spirit of leadership is attitude rather than aptitude. The key to the spirit of leadership is attitude, not the aptitude. There is attitude and there is aptitude. Your attitude like this determines your attitude. Your attitude determines your attitude. What is attitude? It is the mindset. What is Attitude is the anger of Christ. It is your mindset that determines how far you go. Your attitude determines your attitude. Amen. So, the ability to lead is seen as visible through the results that we achieve. There's a man in care, so is he. Hallelujah. So, you know, if you tell us you are a good leader, we knew Kebaki was a good leader better than mine. Why? After he left, everyone said, Papa, Kebaki. Hallelujah. Because the man Leadership is not how much you talk, it is how much you invest in the people that you are leading. You cannot tell me you are a leader, yet you have not invested in the people that you are leading. Hallelujah. You should build capacity to people. A leader has character. And consistent. Every good leader has those three things. You should be a man of good character. You should have the capacity to lead in the discovered area of leadership. Hallelujah. If who is brain root of for the failures of the government is not a good leader. 
He should have the capacity even to hold his dignity. Hallelujah. In the area that you have been given, Pastor Zach, if you complain in that area, it is not because the area is bad, it is because you have not the capacity. Oh, you don't have the integrity. Oh, the character was still not. In fact, uh, it is a discreet way saying a character was ignored is a discreet way to say that you don't have this thing. Hallelujah. Is that a discreet way that, to say that you are ignorant? That is why you say uh, character has been ignored. Think better than you more. Hallelujah. So, every leader should have the capacity. What does he feel? Most of the times when the family fails, we break the one. But who is the head? The man. Hallelujah. We don't break the body, we break the head. It is your head that thought to come here, not the legs. Do the legs came. You are directed by the mind, by the head. Hallelujah. The level of stupidity in your family is directed by your father. The level of excellence of your family is determined by your father. The level of excellence in the church is not determined by members, it is determined by leaders. Hallelujah. The level of excellence in Ashan is not determined by the pastor, but by the leader of Ashan. The integrity, the excellence in protocol team is not determined by the Holy Spirit. It is determined by the man who is leading the protocol team. Hallelujah. If the man has no skills, he may not know even the time that he, he fails. Hallelujah. We experience hardship in the areas that we are not skilled. Hallelujah. Most of the times we experience trials. If you see the area that you are struggling, you know that you have, you are skilled. Like right now, if I tell Pastor Zach to connect the, the electric wires, ah, uh, mutaitana, and as I talk to him, I open the sweat from here. But tell him to drive the car. Hallelujah. You drive you crazy. Hallelujah. Because he is king in driving. Hallelujah. There is a difference between a leader and a leader. There is a difference between a leader and a leader. Every leader, every leader is a servant to others. Every leader leads by example. The leader leads by example. But a ruler or a commander directs in which he, it is not a what he does. Even the things that he cannot do are impossible. He commands you to do. A leader leads by example. A leader leads by what? So example. example. Hallelujah. Leadership is hidden in every follower. It is trapped there in some. It is hidden in every follower. The most important quality of a leader, the most important quality of a leader, is not skills, but the spirit of leadership. 
the spirit of leadership. You may want to lead people, but you don't have the spirit. There are people who are elected without even struggling, even without campaigning. Why? Because inside them, there is the spirit of leadership. And you need to discover in which area you are born to live. Because every person was born a leader. But not every person was born a pastor. Not every person was born a president. Hallelujah. In, in, in life, there is an area that each or everyone, each one of us should have dominion. Hallelujah. You cannot be jack of all trades. Hallelujah. Where we go hapa, where we go hapa, where we go hapa. No. There are areas that you actively, you actively do without struggles. Hallelujah. Taking an example of two animals, that is an eagle and a lion. An eagle is the king among the flying birds. Hallelujah. And the lion is the king of what? Yes? Jungle, right. And how do we? How do we mean the king of jungle? You know, the king of jungle. Lion is the king of? Eh? What? Are you sure? Why are you the king of? So I am is the of Judah, the of the Yeah, yes. The witch, the, the witch man that passed pass to me. Yeah. She died in 19 years later. Jesus did! Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Ryan is the king of the jungle. Yes. Right? Yes. But Jesus is the lion of Judah. What you need to understand is this that uh, lion is not the strongest animal in the wilderness, in the jungle. Right? Yes. Which is the strongest animal in the jungle? Yes? It's the strongest. Sure? Yes? Uh -huh. So, among the big, the big five, the strongest five, Lion and Kawaka, Haiko, Lion is not the right in the jungle. So, you go ahead. Among the five largest animals, is Lion there? No. Among the five fastest, is Ryan there? Among the most cleverest animals in the wilderness, is Ryan there? Among the greediest animals, is Ryan there? So why is Ryan? Yeah? If not the strongest, which is the most fastest animal in the jungle?
Girard. So right now is not among them. But yet, it is the king of the Gentiles. Well, Wala secure. For you to be a leader, you don't need to be the best in the, in the, in the team. He's not the best person in the team. He's not the wisest person. He is not the, the lowest. He is not the fastest. Hallelujah. Yeah. He is not the richest. Hallelujah. Yeah. But your attitude determines. You may be a comfort leader or a present leader, but your attitude can lead at graduates. If you have the spirit of leadership, your mindset should change. Your attitude should change. A young warrior is taught in a different way. Once a warrior is young, he is taught when you see an elephant, it is your food. Hallelujah. When you see a giraffe, it is your food. Hallelujah. A giraffe is tall. You can play with other animals. They are fat. They are not the same. Other animals are good. But you can be that. But I don't. Leave him alone. So he grows knowing that the animal is the strongest. It is your capacity to lead others that makes you stronger than others. Hallelujah. A good leader works with a team. He does not work alone. You don't make the decisions alone. If you're a good leader, don't make the decisions alone. You need to consult others. One of the few. When a person makes decisions alone, he becomes a dictator. You remember when the gym? You remember? You are saying that you don't want to be to be told. Any person who is coyotero cannot become a good leader. Like this. True leaders are distinguished by it. A unique mental attitude. True leaders are distinguished by a unique mental attitude that emanates. It is not really a leader. I am not By unique mental attitude that emanates from an internalized discovery of self. Discovery of self. I repeat, true leadership, true leaders are distinguished. That one of the conditions are given by a unique mental attitude that emanates from. In, from an inter, internalized discovery of self. Yani, unaweza kuwa na kitu kama masugua siku nzima. But when you meet a leader who has discovered himself, he comes and fix everything. Do you know what I mean? So you know you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Any one of the goals, he comes with a solution. Because if you know the answer, then the process is not negotiable. Hallelujah. They are well, well, every, every, every ministry, when material chips in, it must arrive itself. Why? Because he has the capacity, he has the skills, he has the knowledge on how things work. Hallelujah. Amen. The problem that we have with the Christians, they don't, they ignore. Hallelujah. One of the characters of leaders, they did. Hallelujah. One of the good characters of a leader, he 
he reads books. We are product of the books that we read. Hallelujah. Every leader has a teachable heart. Like this. If you are too big to be taught, then you are too small to teach. But you are unwanted to teach. Don't tell me, Pastor, you know, my head carries everything. Hallelujah. If I see you not writing, I know who you are. Hallelujah. Guess what? Everyone has the instinct and the capacity for leadership. But most do not have the courage. Or who do we to cultivate it? But after being taught, we know I, I, I have trained in writing. But you think about the book of the house and the book A true leader is a product of inspiration, not manipulation. You are a product of inspiration. A true leader do not seek power. A true leader do not seek power. But are driven by passion. Two leaders are driven by passion. Uh, man's greatest ignorance is of himself. The man's greatest ignorance is of himself. And if what you believe about yourself. He gets you out. Because no human can be, can live beyond his ability, his belief. No man or woman can live beyond the limit of his or her belief. Leadership. Is also a trusted privilege given by followers. Like this. All the money in the world can make you rich. In fact, we are all the sentence that all the money in the world can make you rich. And all the power in the world. And make you strong. But none of them will make you leader. In an attitude like this, the distinguishing factor between a winner and a loser is attitude. Siba ikiyo na dog ina na zakura. Dog ikiyo na siba ina na dui. Ina na zakuru. Asi na tomo kaisi kuyu. Alleluia. You need to know where you start. Alleluia. What is that to you? Where do you start? It is a natural product of the integration of self worth. It is a natural product of the integration of self-worth to 
self-concept, self-esteem, and sense of value or of significance. Attitude is a natural product of the integration of self-worth, self-concept, self-esteem, and sense of value or significance. In essence, your attitude is the manifestation of who you think you are. And you say, no amount of training in leadership skills, courses in management methods, powerful titles, honorary doctor, engineer. You make your honorary doctor, engineer. With the powerful titles, promotion or association can substitute for the right attitude. I repeat again, no amount of training, no amount of training in leadership skills, courses in management methods, power titles, promotion, or association can substitute, can substitute for the right attitude. So it all begins with the attitude. Hallelujah. The first thing that you need to discover and the first attitude that you should have is that you are born a leader. Hallelujah. If the attitude is wrong, then everything about leadership in you will be wrong. Each one of us was created to rule, govern, according to Genesis chapter 1, verses 27 and 28. Each one of us was created to rule, govern, control, master, manage, and lead our environment. Now is it this? Being in the position of a follower, being in the position of a follower, doesn't negate your inherent leadership potential. Being in the position of a follower does not negate any matter your inherent, inherent, inherent leadership potential. Just because you are a follower does not mean that inside you, uh, you are not a leader. It is just a matter of discovery. Hallelujah. So, the best discovery in life is when you discover who you are and what you are born for. Hallelujah. You should have something to die for. Miles Morgan says, the greatest tragedy in life is not death. But life without the purpose. Your life should have a purpose. When we were down there, uh, one of the guys gave us a story that I'll never forget, and I give everywhere that I go. That there was this boy, uh, and uh, the boy was young, he went to a supermarket or to a mall with the mother. And as uh, they were shopping, the small boy saw a huge guy, bigger than Apostolemis. Apostolemis. Yeah, Apostolemis. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, top guy, huge guy. And uh, the boy was so interested with him, and he asked the guy, uh, Uncle, 
Some of you, let's say that twice. Are you a police officer? No. Are you an army? No. Are you a banker? No. Are you a bouncer? No. Are you an engineer? No. Then, are you a pilot? The best thing. You know. The boy asked the, 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 the huge man. Then, what do you do for the living when you're living? The guy said nothing. The boy said, ah, water, what a waste. What a waste. A big man without brains. You're just misusing food. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask the people, what do you do for a living? He does not answer you. What a list. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. If in this church you does nothing apart from sitting down, what a list. If we are absent in this church, it's not noticed. What a list. Then, if the absence is not noticed, then your presence is forgotten. What a severe. You should be after this. As I said, if there is a person who can fit in your shoes, then you are not fully in their potential. Hallelujah. You can't, a few leaders are unrepressible. You can't repress them. Hallelujah. You can't depress them. Even if somebody comes to the cage, he cannot match the capacity. What do you, what do, you do? If Pastor Zach, somebody else can come here and preach the same way you preach and do things the same way you do, what a waste. You are not born a duplicate. That is why we are not supposed to be like Pastor Moray. I'm not going to go Pastor Moray, I'm going to go to a man who does not hear anything. Hallelujah. A man who has no words. Hear everything that's wrong with you. Hallelujah. You say that a man who has no words. You say that a man who has no words. You say that a man who has no words. Neighbor, God hates you pretty You are not going to become a duplicate. Hallelujah. Inside the pastor, you can learn from me. Um, never be happy. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You can learn from Pastor Zach, but don't become Pastor Zach. The problem that we have, we learn to become a like person. Hallelujah. That is why people saw that what you are going to cover. Kanisa moyo imeja watu. Wakanda kukombe vienye moyo anahubi. Buwana sitiwe. Na msiti ya leo. Nataka kuhubi. Yesu. Aikuwa anataka kuhubiwa. Wakati walikipanga wakambige. Biblia inasema alipitia katikati yao lakini hawakuona na kuambia siku ya leo nitia katikati yao lakini hawakuona 
kama hujaliwa pale nikia katika pia mapango lakini hatakuwa
is service. The shortest distance to leadership is service. A true and genuine leader is not measured by how many people serve him, but how many people you serve. The greater your service, the greater your value to others, and the greater your leadership. I repeat, because of the quick grammar, the shortest distance to a leader, to leadership is service. Genuine and uh, true leadership is not measured by how many people you serve, uh, uh, how many people serve you, but how many people you serve. The greater your service, the greater your value to others. The greater your service, and the greater your leadership. The best thing we be teaching, especially as a pastor, the people are teaching. We just need soldiers. What if we should be seeing some good in for us? Yes. No more. So then. What if it's 26? No, it's an apple. Must be what? Hello? Do you want to become great? Do you want to lead others? Put the worship church. Put the worship show. Put your purpose in the That is the secret. Hallelujah. Whoever wants to be great, see who can be your career with his ability, a partner. Whoever wants to be great among you, let him do what? Be servant. Hallelujah. Because I want to be a leader. When we were in a in our in our uh in a people to make a leader to be a form of Alisa. Because I want to be a leader. But at what to what we are to India, we require that's quite debate to serve them. Now I'll share to an apostle care. To now share the app. Tunaosha makari, tunafanya kila kitu. Hallelujah. Because we want to become great. The, great, the greatness of our leader is not measured by the seat that he sits on. It is measured by the times and the ability to serve others. And then we want, we want to be great. The people are in the world. Not only you, but uh -huh. you. Whoever wants to become great among you must be a servant. Whoever wants to be the first must be your slave. The Son of Man, even Jesus, never came to be served. He came to serve. Hallelujah. If you want our own mother with Jesus, if Jesus himself was serving, what a security. To an extent, he was not to be good. What a security. Now we are never too far with the beach. Not to like a matuka. We are going to have to. Who was a catch? Maybe we do get a game. Hallelujah. If 
you want to make a great, be a last. Hallelujah. Yes. I am praying. Oh, I, I have, for a, the longest time back to back, I have fought with this seat. When the Pigana is the Iki Sam, easy. Easy. When the Pigana has a son, because I always wanted to be among the people. Hallelujah. Lima Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let me tell you this. My best position, my best position in my place when I am within the people. I feel comfortable. Sometimes, after our particular service, we know that we have a little bit of a That is what I love most. Hallelujah. Do you know why? I want to become the greatest. Hallelujah. I want to serve. Great leaders serve. There are great leaders serve. Don't wait to be served. And you must grow that character inside you. I want to serve. It is, it is in me. What has he feel? The man that the Bible is in the park. What has he feel? The man that can be the value of his own. I fix the deal. What has he feel? If you want to become a true leader, start. What has he feel? What has he feel? Uh, to want how you are serving here. What are you The things that people do does to me here, I was doing them. There's nothing that will be done to you if you never plan it. What are you No matter how you wait, Shabayan is there in the now I have never got man. It will never come. You want to harvest? We find that happy. Why do you wash people's feet? Why do you come to the big party? Do you come to see me? 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 Do you come to see you don't need me the way you are the people you are the way 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 you are so fast everything that I do is a seed for me everything that I do is a seed like this year I want to place my standard of service what does it feel the reason why I can't not to tell a couple of people I think I have because I want to be the least. I want to come and serve first. Hallelujah. Before my family was the same. I want to take a kid to give me a hand. What does it feel? I want to take a kid to give me a hand. What does it feel? I want to take a kid to give me a hand. I want to take a kid to give me a hand. I want to take a kid to give me a hand. I know the serious, the serious, you want to know how many of us we have in this church? Sunday, we are here. We are going to be Saturday. Those are the only ones who are here. You see, the Dagani, the church here, the economy, the national, the apartment, the work. What does it feel? Leadership is about this thing. Leadership is about this thing. Hallelujah. In this thing, there is a great gift. What does it feel? You to be a leader, don't be a complainer. Hallelujah. Even in your heart, right? Right now, you don't have a complaint. If I say, I say, I'm a leader. If I do, I'm not here. You're not a leader. You're a complaining in your heart. You're not a leader. There, I'm waiting for 10 minutes. Do you think it's like that? Hallelujah. Rise up with your hands.
Matthieu qui est d'abord détaché. Matthieu qui est d'abord détaché. Je dis, ah, mais tout va être ok. Il y a un petit son. Tangaza, tangaza, tangaza. Namo, si kuya. Wakiele, kuya. Wakiele. Wachuzi. In the Wachuzi, in the Wachuzi. In the Wachuzi. On Tuesday, we have a very special service. Hallelujah. So come with a book, come prepared to be taught. Hallelujah. Apart from Pastor Regina, who will come with a thousand, and Pastor Zach and Pastor Alice, and me, others will come with 500 or what you will get. Sawasawa. 500 or what you will get. We bless that in the name of God. Sawasawa. So, uh, uh, I think that is what I have for today. So prepare, I want us to honor that man of God on that day and come with a book. And come, tell the ministers to come on Tuesday. We saw some. We tell the minister to come on when? To come on? On Tuesday. We saw some. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, with us, may them live in the spirit. God help them to follow you, Christ. Help them to distance themselves from sin and to excel with God's will. In Jesus' name, that we pray. Now, may the grace 